The Mobula Modular ROT LFO is an analog LFO available either fully assembled or as a partially assembled kit. It offers a few different waveforms and also has voltage control over its rate. So in addition to sharing those alternate waveforms with you, I thought this would be a good example to share how to process CVs externally to control some voltage control devices. This first movie will focus on the LFO's features. Now I have a simple one VCO voice setup on the Mother32 Sawtooth Wave, sweepable filter, and you can use the Mother32's internal LFO to go ahead and modulate that filter cutoff. The Mother has either a triangle or a square wave LFO with a variable rate. The RLT LFO offers three different types of waveforms, round, pointy, and square, with an alternate tilted version, and also there's a switch inside that gives yet another variation on those waveforms. Its normal pointy waveform in the even mode is just your normal triangle, just like the Mother32. And if we was to take that output and patch it straight into the filter cutoff, we would get a full range modulation. Now, of course, that's more than we usually want, so you need to attenuate it. You can use an external utility mixer like the Frap Tools 321, or the mother happens to have a voltage controlled mix amount built in. So let's go ahead and take our LFO, put it into the second input on the mix, the far clockwise setting, take the output of its own mix, and run that instead to the filter cutoff. So I can go ahead and vary the LFO depth from halfway to nothing to full. I'm going to drone a note so we can see what's going on and just switch between round, which is a sine wave type of shape, and square, which is of course a square wave shape. The rate is pretty wide. In the normal setting, it's from a pretty slow rate. To a pretty fast LFO. If you're the type of person who prefers very slow evolutions, there is a slow speed. This is the fastest slow speed. And the slowest slow speed takes a very long time to complete a cycle. I won't make you wait the minutes it will take to complete one cycle. Now you see the triangle wave in this even mode is not a perfectly shaped triangle. It does have a little bit of a bend to it. When you flip to the tilt position, it becomes an ascending sawtooth wave again with that slight bend in the middle. The sine wave round becomes a half a sine with a sudden jump. You could think of this as a downward sloping ramp, where pointy is an upward sloping ramp. And square becomes just a very narrow negative pulse. Now what's particularly interesting about the ROT LFO is the phase relationship between these outputs. I'll go back to even. You'll see, for example, that the pointy output, the triangle output, is shifted 180 degrees from the round output, the LFO. This gives you some additional options to go ahead and have stereo panning effects, one thing opening while another thing is closing. Normally you would need an external inverter to do that. And then the square wave is offset 90 degrees in between those two. And there you can see its trace. Now personally, I prefer more continuous waveforms like this. I'm not so much a fan of sudden jumps in waveforms. They tend to attract attention to themselves, where I prefer something that goes into the background. But that's where there's one more trick inside the ROT LFO, where you can change those wave shapes yet again. I'm going to turn off our note, turn off our power, and open up our rack here. and show you inside there's something called a ramp switch. It's that little switch right there if you can see it. And if you flip its shape, you now have some intermediate shapes that were in between your previous tilt 
and even. It also slows down the LFO when in the tilt position. So let's go ahead and put this back in. Let things start warming up while I get the other screw in. There we go. Go back to the even, which we know. Put my data back in oscilloscope mode. I'm going to need to slow down its trace a bit here. Look at pointy again and turn on all of our various outputs here. There we go. Now I'll change the time a little bit so you can see what better what's going on here. Finally, let me tune the mode to where it was and hold a note. So there's our triangle wave we had before. But now when I go to tilt, instead of a sawtooth wave, we have a slower wave. It's like half triangle, half saw. Go to normal speed here so you can see it more clearly. Kind of a tilted sawtooth wave or tilted triangle wave. Same with round. Rather than having a sudden jump, it has a bit of a slew or rounding to the jump as it resets. And again, these waveforms are 180 degrees out of phase with each other. And finally, square, rather than being just a very short negative pulse, is about a third duration, quarter duration positive pulse. So I personally find the alternate ramp setting on the switch, combined with tilt, gives me the wave shapes I personally prefer, and they're a little bit different than you get out of your normal analog LFO, which is cool. So that's how to access the different waveforms in the ROT LFO. In the next movie, I'll show you how to massage those waveforms, both by adjusting the CV depth and by using feedback.